Hey guys and welcome to another tweets video. So this is the third video that I've made of the tweets so far. And if you have been enjoying these videos, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. These are my first videos of 2019. And yes, they are pre-filmed because I'm in my university room. And they have been filmed just before Christmas because obviously I'm going back to London in a few days. I probably won't have any time to film anything over the Christmas period. So my Christmas videos were filmed in November. My January videos were filmed just before Christmas. And when I get back to university on the 4th or 5th of January, um, I will have probably pre-filmed some more but also had some content filmed in the moment. It's just the tweets again. We're going to have a few more of these. I think we've got a few more episodes until they're all done. But um yeah, if you don't if you are enjoying them then don't forget to support the channel as well. Let's get straight on to some tweets. So the first tweet that we've got here is from Nick Richards who is one of my YouTube mutuals. I think I don't think I met him. I don't think I've met him. Um, I think I've seen him several times at Summer in the City. Um, but yeah, I pretty much know him from online, from on Twitter and on YouTube. And he tweeted, again back in September, most of these tweets were from September. He said, I'm always... I always say the person's name I'm sending a Snapchat to out loud before I send it to make sure it's the right person. And I pretty much do that as... Well, I don't really do that. For streaks, I pretty much just send it to whoever my streaks are. But to everyone else... I sort of go, right, so Laura, and then I make sure I send it to Laura or whoever I'm sending the snap to. So, yeah, sometimes. Depends what mood I'm in. Depends if I'm happy, stressed, angry, drunk, whatever. Um, but usually, if I'm sending a drunk snap to someone and I'm in the club, I'll scream the person's name and say, I'm sending a snap to Jan, I'm sending a snap to Jan. And then Jan will get a snap of me screaming that. How nice would it be to be able to wear whatever you want without looking like a fat potato and everything? That's a mood. There are only several clothes like a hand for the clothes that I can wear that I know I, I look okay in like smart clothes like shirts jeans those sorts of things I look alright in in a t-shirt bits are hanging out and I'm not really a fan of what I look like but over time I'm sure I will change my look and over time I'm sure I will lose weight as well stop telling me that you subscribed in my comment section just comment make a connection with me and maybe I'll, I'll subscribe back if I like your content this is again similar to a tweet in another video about the fake support so don't just comment and say, yeah, I've subscribed. Actually, leave a nice comment, leave a constructive criticism comment, or leave some sort of positive comment. And don't just ask people to subscribe to you back, because they will not do that. Does nobody support each other anymore? All I ever see is small YouTubers dissing other small YouTubers for doing this and trying that and wanted to chase their dreams. Small YouTubers are not in a position to be giving advice and dissing others. Help each other. So I think, well, small YouTubers are in a position to give advice. You can give people constructive criticism, but don't be negative. I think at the end of the day, people in the YouTuber community, small or big, can help each other by just giving positive messages and positive vibes and stuff like that. There's no point in saying to someone, right, you can't do this, no, you can't do that. If anything, I would pick up on their positives and they should then focus on those as their future YouTube videos. I've had people say stuff to me, say, oh, this type of video isn't really down like your um, down your street, it's not really what I see you doing and it doesn't really look that great and I've just said, okay, cool, I tried it, I thought I'd give music videos a go and didn't work out and I stopped doing music videos. I mean, I never actually made a music video, I, I was in the process of creating like the different shots and stuff like that but I never actually got into it I think I'm more about the editing the music video as opposed to filming it so that could be something I do in the future my drummer beating my sound guy at Paul the sound guy right that's it if you put one more ball I'm muting your solo just a little joke about if he beats him then he's gonna basically turn the sound off so you can't hear him play the guitar okay but how fucking cool was it to rearrange your room when you were younger and it feeling like a completely different space you show your parents they'll be like wow very nice and you'd be like fuck yes new room new me that's pretty much like what i did at university the amount of times i move stuff around and even in the kitchen here for during second year we've moved the sofas around about three or four times initially we had them like opposite each other and now we've got them in like a little like v shape so yeah it is quite relatable and yeah i remember having that feeling as a kid and i used to just rearrange my room and be like oh actually look i'm in a new new room new space new me pray for me i need limelight thank you don't know what that is i think that's either an ariana grande song or they just want a bit of spotlight i give credit for whatever work somebody has done no matter what our relationship is is currently because that's the right thing to do and that's pretty much what i do as well even if i'm on bad terms with someone and they've done something so incredibly great i will still be that supportive friend and i will still say well done because they've worked hard to get to where they are and although we're not talking 
it's a nice thing to say. Lol, funny how some people only message you when they want to ask a favour or want you to do something for them. Always keeping mental notes of you slimy ones who are only my mate when you need something. Now that's true. I don't really have many slimy friends at the moment. I think most of the people that I class as my friends are actually my friends. If anything, if they use me, I pretty much just use them back, but neither of us can admit it. But I think most of my mates, like even people I filmed videos with, obviously, yeah, them filming videos with me gets them on my channel, gets them a tiny bit of promo, but also it gets me content. So even if they are going to use me, it gets me content, but also gets them exposure. So it's a win-win situation. Everyone at work just takes the piss out of me because I don't know how to do maths. I just stand there looking into thin air for two minutes. I can't relate because I'm actually not too bad at maths. When you see someone at the supermarket and then bump into them again, guaranteed one of you will say, are you following me? And I just say, no, nah, I ain't following you, but I'm following you on Twitter. The scruffy bird who I'm in a house to share with has kindly left me a jar of homemade jam, which is lovely. But I'd much prefer you to unclog your fucking hair from the shower plug and wash your pots from Sunday, you scruffy weird jam making cunt. Now that's funny. She's left him some jam, but she hasn't cleaned herself up. Bit grim. Sometimes you just have to accept the fact that people only enter your life as, a te as temporary happiness. That could mean temporary family, temporary friends, temporary jobs. Um, but yeah, only for a short amount of time, and that does that does uh, that does relate to me. I'm all panic and no disco. So panic at the disco. I'm just panic, not the, not no disco there. Don't really know what to say about that one. I don't really. I've never actually heard any of the panic panic at the music's music. I'm sure I've heard panic at the music's music. Panic at the disco's music. I'm sure I've heard songs if it's been played, but I don't realise it's them because I don't know what they sound like. Um, I may be a dumb bitch, but at least I've never put a guy's name in my bio mood college students are disrespectful as fuck it could be 10 minutes left in the class and the professor is trying to say something important one person will start zipping up their backpack their backpack and then the whole class will start i know professors can be mad hearing that early what oh professors get angry hearing that early but yeah that's pretty much the same university we've got a lecture that goes from 11 to 1 and at about 12 55 you can hear people start going zip zip with bags bottles <laughs> And like blowing their noses and stuff getting ready to leave and obviously as one person starts it's almost like a current of students just one person starts and everywhere else people start packing up their stuff it's a little bit rude but it's just a student's thing so i can't help it and we can't help it as students i walked into work today to see a christmas tree in the shop window yes that's right a giant ass christmas tree in september yeah that's what happens pretty much. I don't think Halloween much happens. I don't think Easter much happens. But I think for Christmas, people prepare in like four months in advance. Self-care is not just putting on a face mask and avoiding shit. It's also called... It's also calling yourself out on your own shitty behaviour and trying to be a better person. Now, I've called myself out on more than enough things, as I have with my friends as well. Calling them out, making sure that if they've ever said something that's a little bit weird, that how they can not do that again, basically. Self-care is obviously you doing things to yourself making yourself look better but also you talking to yourself and being actually is this right have i said something wrong am i being an idiot like i need to sort myself out mentally as well as just how i look more than 90 percent of people are no longer friends with someone they want to call their best friend again relatable three people i used to call my best friend over time i used to have i had one best friend we stopped talking another best friend we stopped talking another best friend we stopped talking three of them gone things that make me happy puppies good music a job well done and the visible hatred in the eyes of a middle-aged woman when they get on the tube and realize there's not a free seat haven't been on the train for a while but i'm, I'm sure that's relatable i overuse ha 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 way too much it's embarrassing ask me what i'm doing and i'll just be like ha ha just go and gym what about you 99 percent of the messages that i send i either put ha ha at the beginning or ha ha at the end i don't know why i'm laughing about it it just is just a happy it's just a natural thing on text life would be so much easier if i actually did stuff that's a mood i'm a person who brings my phone to the toilet when my phone is at one percent well i'm not giving up airplane mode turned on photos are now my source of entertainment can you take spider-man's clothes off in the new game or is it just a photoshopped picture help me i need this information immediately to help me decide whether to buy a playstation or not if you were a gifted kid in elementary there's a 100 percent chance that you're gay and depressed now i was a gifted kid during secondary school but i'm gay not depressed just did a dramatic rendition of stacy's mum whilst drying dishes and i got Got so out of breath I had to sit down because I'm in love with Stacey's mom. Does anyone get that thing where you used to be really good friends with someone but they've changed and now you despise how they act but they still think you're friends and they're like love you and you're like yeah but you're a bad person now so bye because same. I've sat here for an hour painting my nails yellow and writing Tyler and Josh on them. Productive. Sometimes you just need to step outside, get some fresh air, clear your head and remind yourself of who you are and where you want to be. Why do I get so nervous about the dentist? Never underestimate the power you have to be comfortable, caring, respectful 
conversations with the people in your life talking saves lives some people can't afford therapy and they need you to be there listen and talk yourself community is everything so the fact that people can't pay for like counselors and stuff like that your friends are pretty much there for you and that's why that's what i um that's what i've said because now i'm in a good place i can help other people if you find something you love doing hold on to it a job you love is better than a big paycheck being someone you're not so there's no point doing a job you absolutely hate if it gives you loads of money i'd rather do something that doesn't pay me as much but something that i get a lot more positiveness and creativity and like love from i hate a i don't eat spicy food ass bitch that's like a sassy tweet the other night my girlfriend sang the words of abba using my dick as a microphone that's a mood but i thought this guy was gay being born from 1996 to 1999 was such a sweet spot like any older like any older we wouldn't understand memes and be obsessed with ipas any younger and we'd be addicted to only nicotine and only listen to music made by pedophiles oh that's a mood actually didn't really think about life like that but this is what i'm saying this is why i screenshot so many tweets because i look back at them and think oh actually yeah what if what if that was true i just want to win the lottery so i can retire now and buy enough land to adopt all of the unwanted dogs and give them a blimmin rocking home dogs over cats any day but like yeah if i was to win the lottery I would obviously keep a bit for myself, so have a little bit of savings, save a little bit for university if I was to win the lottery anytime soon. I think for some of it, I'd obviously give it to some animal charities, to some special needs charities, LGBT charities. Mood. Hackers need to step the fuck up and delete everyone's student loans. Yep, that's true. I woke up this morning on one of my videos. The views kept skyrocketing. Is this for real or is it, is it a kind of glitch? Either way, thank you guys for all the love and support. You guys are amazing and I love Yao. Cannot do this without you all. So he has seven, he has 36 subscribers, but yeah. Again, it wasn't really a relatable tweet. It was just a tweet. Him just thanking his subscribers. Why do people pronounce year as year? When you say bear, do you say burr? GTFO. Get the fuck out. God, I really have to stop using the she pronoun when referencing objects around real people. <laughs> I think that's just like a gay thing. We just call every every item like she. It's a mood. Everything's a bloody mood nowadays. Buskers are going to have to start taking cards soon. I'll tell you something. You're a total scumbag if you take advantage of people's niceness. Imagine treating someone like shite and doing them wrong because you know or think you'll get away with it. So it's basically people not sticking up for themselves. People not taking, like, the hint when someone's just pretty much mugging them off. Quite relatable. One time my brother tried to convince me the song Too Late to Apologise by One Republic was actually about a person called Stu to apo to apologise. It's Stu to apologise. Stu Stop forcing male students to stand up in class. It's hard to hide a boner. That's why I never used to put my hand up to answer questions in class, because I used to just get a boner. Because it always used to be the hot teachers asking me the questions. Couldn't help it. Stresses me out so much when you show someone a song and they only listen with one earphone. Why are you like this? What about the parts that are panned to one side? You are missing them. I'm stressed. Collect your other earphone. That cute shit on films where they have one each can go. Music nowadays, you can um, decide what ear the music comes out of. So yeah, if it's pretty much all just left-sided and you've got the right headphone in, you're not really getting that full experience of the song. Cardi B sounds like a cool nickname for cardboard. That's quite cool. Fact. People who use the school's bathroom to take a shit are braver than people who watch top 10 scariest moments videos after 2am. Because it's a little bit scary having a poo in the toilet at school. Because you don't know what's been in there. You don't know who's in there. And uh, you don't know who's been doing what in there either. Things British Jews can't agree on. Is a bagel pronounced bagel or bagel? Shabbat Shalom or Gut Shabbos? Spurs or Gooners? But things we can all agree on. Jeremy Corbyn is an anti semit who an 86% agreed with this in the latest poll. I think that's the same with just any religion, any culture. There's always weird pronunciations and phrases that are used and stuff but politics there's certain views that people can agree with and that jeremy corbyn is basically a twat this is a question from the quiz app uh i think it's called what's the game called hq so in the game hq one of the questions was in a blt sandwich the b stands for what bacon bubblegum or blanc mange so 180 pitch people put bubble gum 117 put blanc mange very very stupid the only b that can be in a sandwich is bacon i think it's bacon lettuce and tomato the worst thing about doing youtube is filming a video and noticing you haven't been recording the whole time that's a mood it's sort of like when you click the camera to go look at the footage you filmed then you go all i've got is the thumbnail or not even because the amount of times i filmed a video I forgot to take a thumbnail and had to like screenshot in my video once edited but yeah the worst thing about youtube is when you think you're filming you think the red button's on and you're actually just 
talking to yourself like not even the camera's bothered about what you're doing having to hide how i really feel about people is really taking a toll on my mental health but the truth always comes out right i went to go and watch the nun today with my girlfriend and during the movie whenever say whenever they would say sister she would lean in and whisper sister like james charles in my ear lmao i can't with her now that's funny because james charles's little the thing that everyone knows him for is saying sister, sisters, and hey sisters on his videos. So, obviously with the nuns, they're all nuns. They say, oh, sister Laura, sister whatever. Every time they'd say that, the girlfriend would go, sister. Today I filmed, edited, and uploaded, and scheduled four videos. Planning to do the same tomorrow, or maybe on Thursday. Feeling productive, and I want to take the rest of September and a bit of October off to settle into uni. That's why I'm getting so organised. That's pretty much pre-filming at its finest, and I think Tamsin is another youtube girl that i actually have watched and i think we've been in communication at some point that's pretty much what i do when i pre-film videos the only reason i pre-film is if i've got an event coming up and i just want to get i want to make sure that i've got content out around that time or for example starting up back at university when i first came back to university for second year i came back i think near the end of september and I was like, right, I need to get some videos ready because uni starts next, well, uni started in like two weeks after that and I wanted to make sure I had like five, six weeks worth of content. Then I started deciding to post two videos a week and I did it. Like, I had videos popping out left, right and centre and views, comments and messages and I didn't realise the stuff was coming out because I pre-filmed it. Um, I think I go a little bit over the top when I pre-film, but I did the same thing for my Christmas videos as well last year. I pretty much filmed my Christmas videos in November and most of my like, well, I, I don't know if I'm going to have filmed any New Year's videos, I don't think I have, but yeah, most of my Christmas videos were filmed a little bit before just to make sure that the content actually came out. And it was the first time I did proper Vlogmas as well, so I wouldn't have expected myself to film a video every single day, edit it that day and then upload it that same day. That's the only reason why I pre-filmed quite a lot of those videos. Some creators call themselves YouTubers, while some call themselves content creators. I haven't thought of myself as a YouTuber in quite some time. Why? Because the term YouTuber doesn't mean the same thing anymore. I hate what a YouTuber means to a decent amount of people. And this is something that's always spoken about, the fact that content creators and YouTubers are completely different. Content creators is just people who create content. This could be vlogs, blogs, music videos, films, written documents like these sorts of things a youtuber is just someone that primarily makes videos chucks it on youtube and promotes it on social media and stuff like that content creators include like making books and stuff like that so youtubers can be content creators but content creators are not just youtubers that's how i like to think about it and i'm sure that's going to be a topic that is going to be discussed about at some point but i feel like i might actually dm this, this that guy and ask him to explain in more detail what he thinks youtubers and content creators actually are because from that one little tweet that could get a whole interview and a whole discussion yes pineapple on pizza is grim but why does no one ever say anything about seafood on pizza absolutely sickening that folk even consider having tuna on a pizza never mind actually eating it well tuna on pizza is probably a lot better than having pineapple on pizza pineapple having fruit at all on pizza is weird tuna i wouldn't necessarily see that as a bit weird because i have tuna I, I don't have tuna i have salmon with pasta i have salmon with chips salmon and vegetables like it's it's interesting it's different but i don't I wouldn't class it weird like meat uh, fish and pizza is fine you have we have meat on pizza so why can't you have fish on pizza um but yeah the pineapple thing is a little bit disgusting does noah centiano happen to have a twin that lives in the uk that would be willing to you know marry me because he's fit af i'm not sure what film he was in but he was obviously in something he skyrocketed up in popularity and that's pretty much got him known everywhere i want to do a video specifically about him as well because i think he'd be really really interesting to research about like where he's come from who he is and what he actually does I'm sure he's more than just a good looking boy, but I'm sure he's got a bit of like brain knowledge. I tell you what, I hate people who slate others for working as a builder, carpenter, plumber, etc. Et um, why is it looked down upon? They built your house, you wouldn't be able to shower without them, you wouldn't be able to live a comfortable living without them, so why is it seen as a dropout job? And to be fair, I do agree with this, like if we didn't have builders, carpenters, plumbers, people that would be willing to take those jobs, we wouldn't have houses. Same with dentists, doctors, I know there's people that hate those jobs and people that hate doing it. It does get paid quite a lot, um, because especially it's dealing with people personally, like doctors, nurses, these sorts of things. I don't think nurses get paid a lot, but they get a decent enough wage. And even bin, bin cleaners, the amount of people that are like, oh, bin cleaners, like they're clearing up my rubbish, that's all they are. They actually get paid quite a lot because, because so many people don't want to do those jobs, the people that do get that little bit more money from 
doing the job as sort of like a thank you so much for doing something that thousands of others wouldn't you've taken your time and you've decided to put effort into doing that um, one last tweet that I'm going to look at today is from official Millie Redman. She's another YouTuber and again I think she's changed her profile picture since this. She's just tweeted I feel like all I ever tweet about is sleeping. Has anyone got any jobs going to do with sleeping? And that is an actual mood. I'm sure there are jobs that require just to, for you to sleep but um, not any that I know of at the moment. That is pretty much going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy this video don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. This is the third one of my little series so far. So like I said if you have been enjoying it don't forget to support the channel. Leave your comments down below. Have you tweeted any of these tweets yourself? Have you like are you connected with any of these tweets? Do they relate to you somehow? Um, and if they do, let me know how. And if you want to be involved in this video, just tweet something relatable. DM me your relevant tweets, stuff like that, and you could be featured in another one of my videos. But yeah, until then, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will be with you for another episode of this. I think I've got a few more episodes left. And then we will be changing t-shirt, we will be changing topic, and we will be changing style of video. So until then, see you in a bit. Bye.